Hi guys and welcome back to another nail video. I used to do a lot of long nails and I really haven't done long long nails for a long long time. So this time, I, because I've been wearing a load of stilettos, I wanted to put some square, square nails on. After I've done that, I'll come back and show you how I apply the nail forms on tiny, tiny nails. <laughs> Okay, so before I put the dehydration primer on, I am going to put all of the nail forms on because I'm, I don't want to be messing about with all, all of them. So, but all I'm going to do is like like a base first, and then I'm going to take them off and do the rest of the de of the design. But as you can see, my nails are tiny. Let's get rid of the hairs that are on there. So because I'm doing all of them, I'm going to set them all up ready for me to put them on. And I know with my thumb. That my thumb doesn't fit around there very well so I'm gonna get some scissors and I'm gonna cut either side of where them two marks are there so that then my thumb will fit around there nice and snug so I'm just gonna close them all up and do that five times Okay, so them are on. I'm going to dehydrate my nails now and then put acid free primer on. The acid free primer is from Wow Bow. And then, as I said, all I'm going to do is a base. I'm not quite sure what number I'm going to do to go down to yet. I think I'm going to go down to number three, which is there. As I say, I'm going to do square nails but thin. I'm not going to do um, ballerina shaped. I want square tips this time. And then after I've done the base, I will come back and show you what I'm going to do next. It's a really like feminine design that um, I want to do this time because I'm sick of having mega short nails, like my, my own nails. I've had them like this for ages now, so I want to do something different and hopefully I can cope with them. So I'm going to get Wow Bow's Liquid and Neo's Crystal Clear. And as I say, I'm just going to sculpt myself a set of long square tips, take the, the nail forms off and then I can work on the nails from there. Alright, all of them are done now, so I'm going to take all of these off. Oh, love, love taking the nail forms off. Ta da! I'm going to leave that one a bit because I've only just done that one, so. Oh, yeah, they're not too bad, are they? I've got to shape them a bit better because they, they, they did end up turning it into ballerina shape, but. Never mind. When you put acrylic on, they go a bit wider anyway. So if they end up like that, they end up like that. So I'm just going to file these and then I'll come back with the nail bed and then I'll show you what I'm doing next. All 
All right, so I'm going to get nails flawless and I'm going to do myself a nail bed, obviously. And then I'm going to fade it down the nail to where you can hardly see it. And then I'm going to put the glitter at the bottom of the nail and then fade that up. Okay, so now them are done, the glitters I'm going to be using are these two from uh, Phoenix Glitter. This is Pixie Shards and this one is March Hair. I think I'm going to be using this one from Sparkle Supplies UK, which is Iridescent Ice. And I don't know if I'm using this one yet. This is the mixer I did a long time ago. It's just got a load of silvers in there. I don't know whether I'm using that, but I'm definitely using these three. So all I'm going to do is get some clear and then either pick, get a ball of acrylic, dip it into the glitter and then just put it on and fade it up or just put the acrylic on and then dip my brush into the glitters and then place it on like that. After I've done that then I'm going to encapsulate and file and then I'll come back and show you what else I'm going to do next. All right, so I've just filed and buffed them. I'm not sure whether I want some matte top coat on these, you know. I know the glitter's gorgeous and I've mixed some glitter together and stuff, but I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try me thumb with some matte top coat and then uh, I wish we could decide together, but we can't. So I'm gonna see how that looks and then see from there. But onto my ring finger now. I've been sitting here for ages thinking what I'm gonna do. So I think I'm gonna use some of Wow Bow's Unicorn Chrome Pigment. No, and I'm gonna put that on using the Chrome Base Coat. This stuff is amazing if you use a lot of pigments. It makes the pigments go on like a million times better. So I'm going to put a really thin layer of this Perfect White by Madame Glam on the whole of the nail. And then I'm gonna cure that. Straight away I'm going to put this Chrome Base Coat on cure that for 60 seconds and as soon as that comes out I'm going to rub this into the chrome base coat.
So to seal that, oh, there you go. I'm going to use Wow Bow's uh, Diamond Shine sh blah, 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 Diamond Shine top coat, and I'm going to cure that for 30 seconds. Okay, so anybody who's been watching me for a long time will know that the matte top coats, I love the satin sheets from Femme Fatale Nails. It is one of the best matte top coats I've ever used, but I had one from Born Pretty not so long ago. Do you know, this one is just as good as that. I'm not gonna lie, it is re I, I was blown away at how good this matte top coat is. So I'm going to put this one on my thumb and let's see how that looks uh, with the glitter. If it doesn't look very nice then I will go over it with a shiny top coat. Okay so that's just come out the lamp. I don't know. I don't know what to say. Oh I wish I had everybody's advice. Oh my god. I really like that and it's something different because obviously this hand's nice and shiny. But I've seen people do this with glitter before and just put a matte top coat on. And I've always thought it looked really nice. Put your opinion guys, what would you do? Would you do shiny or would you keep with this matte colour? I would love to know what people think in case I do this again in the future. But I think I'm going to go with a matte. But yeah, put your opinions down in the comment section. I would love to know what you think. Okay, I'm going to compromise. I am going to do my second finger in the shiny top coat. So this is what they look like at the moment with the matte and the shiny together. So now they are top coated, I am going to do some 3D flowers with Neo's Mega White and I'm still going to be using Wow Bow's Liquid then we're going to add some bling and then that I think finally I'll be done with the set of nails Oh guys, you'll see my table, it's full of stuff. Okay, so what I've decided to do on this nail is put this crystal, which again I got off eBay, round about there. I'm gonna put it on with uh, Neo's Acrygel, and then I'm going to get some silver bead, no I won't, I'm gonna get some chain, silver chain, and then put that around it. I think I'm gonna leave it like that, I don't know. And then I'm just going to sort of bling bling a little bit of this nail up and I think that's about it but we'll see how that one goes Ha 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 ha. 
Okay, so the last thing I want to do is this one. I don't know whether you actually saw me putting these crystals on. I think I was out of frame. Now these, I'm pretty sure I had from Born Pretty ages ago. And the other thing that, it's a long story, I didn't, I didn't end up showing them. Um, but I'm thinking of putting one of these on, like that one. They've got like extra things on them there. They're really nice. But I really like this one, but I don't know whether the green would go. I mean, look at that. That's stunning. No, I don't think it'll go. So I'm thinking of putting this one on and then what I'm going to do is get the other crystals and then do a line of them going down the centre of the nail. So this I'm going to put on with Acrogel and then the, the other ones I'm going to put on with glue. Rest in peace my hair because my hair will be pulled out with a number of these crystals. <laughs> but never mind. I haven't done anything this blingy for a long time. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do like that and then I should be finished. Alright guys, well that is the design finally finished, I just put some cuticle oil on, but you have to be careful when you put cuticle oil on and you've got matte nails that you don't get it on the mat because the oil will not make it matte anymore. But if the mat starts getting a bit not matte, how many times can you say matte? Just put another coating on and they'll go back to how they were because obviously you know as the days go on you get, you scuff them up and stuff so I don't think they're quite as protected as like the shiny ones, I don't know, but they don't feel as protected, so I will keep an eye on that. But I love these. I know they have taken me hours to do, but I absolutely love them. So which one do you, th do you like the best, guys? Do you like the matte coloured with the glitter or the shiny? I would, As I said, I would really like to know your thoughts on that. But I really do hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's probably longer than the others I've done. All the items that I can leave in the description box, I'll leave links for down below. Thank you so much for watching this one, guys, and I hope to see you next time. Bye, guys.